pronounce the name properly, Marcel Fontaine is going to speak to you next, Governor, and the next person after that, Fontaine, Marcel, is Cheryl um, Marcel. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm Marcel Fontaine. I am a college student at um, Mark Community College, um, and I appreciate you for coming here today. Um, I, um, I have, uh, uh, and I have the uh, I have the great pleasure to talk to some of my colleagues in uh, um, in Norwalk Community College, and they um, and all every single time that I talk to them, they ask they ask me, but well, why can't I find a job? I'm trying I'm trying so hard. I'm busting my my butt trying to uh, write applications. And they're finding no opportunities whatsoever. And uh, what? Um, and I might make some suggestions. Probably, uh, probably lo uh, well, lowering down taxes, especially for middle class pe middle class people and uh, businesses, um, so we could actually have businesses in Connecticut. And uh, and another thing I like to add um, is to also um, um, decrease regulations on small business on um, costly regulations on small businesses because they are the ones really um, hurting right now because of, because a lot of businesses are hightailing out of Connecticut. And uh, my question to you. Is uh, what uh, what are you your imposed um, 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 plans on trying to bring more youth to the job uh, to the job market? Sure. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let, let me say a couple of things um, uh, with respect to regulation. I agree with you 100. Uh, percent That's why last October we began an effort by first putting all state regulations for the first time in our history on the internet, so anybody could review them. I then asked everyone, including professional organizations, to review those regulations and actually give us suggestions about uh, what they uh, think is most burdensome or troublesome uh, or duplicative. Uh, we've gotten uh, in excess of about 800 pages of recommendations uh, with respect to that, although I have to tell you that, that we got fewer suggestions than I thought we would get, um, particularly on the small business side, so we're always looking for that input. Um, and in just a matter of days, we'll be sending uh, proposals to the, to the legislature on what regulations we think should be uh, removed from the, from the books or uh, retired, quite frankly. So I agree with you 100%. Uh, with respect to taxes, I also agree with you. Um, uh, we're tr starting the process of cutting taxes. For instance, in the package that we've sent to the legislature, we want to go back to uh, what was a, a non-taxable uh, sales tax situation on non-prescription drugs. So, uh, we didn't tax uh, non-prescription drugs, we taxed them, now we want to go back to not taxing them. It costs about $16 million a year, if I remember correctly, uh, on a 12-month on a basis. Uh, it, it's a form of relief. We're going to reinstate the uh, uh, tax on a, on a middle-class basis for uh, uh, $50 a quote. Uh, we, we had that uh, uh, in our uh, uh, laws. We, when we looked at a 17 and a half, 18 percent deficit, we did away with it. Uh, by the end of the biennium, we'll, back, we'll be back to 100 percent of that $50 um, exemption being reinstated. That's a cost of about 140 million dollars um, uh, a year. Um, we backed out some other charges, and we're we're looking for opportunities to do that again. Um, and quite frankly, uh, in our package, we we have proposed uh, the taxpayer share in uh, a refund. Uh, of the surplus revenue that we're going to have. So uh, we propose that each individual taxpayer receive $55 uh, or our joint filers receive a $110 refund uh, for sales tax and gas tax uh, that they've paid. Uh, I'll give you a for instance. Uh, the amount of raised uh, gas tax um, represents about $18.50 um, uh, for additional expense per car. Um, that's why we're calling this a sales tax and gas tax uh, rebate. If you look at the increase in the sales tax, this represents about what somebody told me fourteen thousand dollars worth in, of expenditures. If you just apply the fifty-five or the one hundred and ten uh, to, to that as well, I guess it's one hundred and ten. 
So we are trying to find ways to bring tax relief um, as the economy recovers slowly. So now let's get to the heart of the matter. The economy is recovering slowly. Um, uh, and in a state where we had failed to have net job growth for 22 years, uh, we continue to have slower growth than I would like to see, although 40,000 uh, new private sector jobs is a start at the same time that we uh, shrunk the size of, of government both locally, I might add, and the state. Uh, but we're, I'm always looking for, for new and good ideas. We have some programs out there. We've invested in small businesses through the EXP, Small Business Express Program, distributed about $125 million to, uh, to small businesses that could not access uh, loans, uh, low interest loans, uh, uh, for much of the last three years. Uh, that program has preserved uh, and helped create a total of about 13,800 jobs uh, in the state of Connecticut. We, uh, uh, we came up with a program to help small businesses hire unemployed individuals. Uh, uh, one of the things about Connecticut is we weren't doing a very good job in training for specific jobs uh, a replacement workforce. Uh, we're retiring machinists more rapidly than we're certifying. We're, re we're retiring engineers more, rap more rapidly than we're graduating them. Um, uh, so on a, uh, on, a bit, uh, on a number of bases, we'll actually help the employer pay the salary of a new employee if that employee is, bit, is a veteran, uh, has been a long-term unemployed individual, uh, and requires training. So we are trying to, to get ideas. So the next time you're sitting around the table with the, your friends at the community college, if, if, I invite you to give me some, some ideas. We, we have some of the ideas that we uh, uh, have put in place, like the Small Business Express program, are now being copied or looked at by other states to copy. Uh, but if you have some ideas, I'll, I'll take a serious uh, look at it. I will say this to you, that Connecticut's never going to be the lowest cost of uh, disadvantage. Uh, but if you're going to buy a submarine or a jet engine, 50% chance you're going to buy it in Connecticut. Um, uh, if, you're, uh, if you're using a patent anywhere in the country, uh, most likely one of those patents is, comes from Connecticut, because we're one of the highest patent states. If you're doing research and development that's funded by a corporation, we're the second most concentrated in that area uh, in our state. We're doing some, good, some things well, we just have to do a lot more things well uh, in the future. Give me some ideas in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.